Now we are going to do the uh, ICL cholesterol estimation. Almost all the other steps that the steps that we do in the total cholesterol they are the same thing measurement of using of the instrument they are the same thing but the only uh, extra steps that we in, that involves in the measurement of ICL will be explained here okay the rest of the way how to measure it is almost the same so I wouldn't be showing that the other part so only the extra steps the here the extra step is that we will be using a precipitation test tube where where we will be uh, taking a precipitating reagent hmm. and uh, samples okay so the samples that I saw in the previous samples will be taking hmm. amount will be 300 microliter for the uh, precipitating reagent will be taking here 300 microliter and for I have taken uh, 200 microliter amount of serum here okay hmm. so we will be mixing this two amount so i will be pipetting out 300 microliter in the test tube level as ppt signifying precipitation okay and this is the uh, serum okay hmm. serum 200 microliter and all together all together it will make up make up a eh? 500 microliter okay so we this is the step involved extra step involved for precipitation precipitation where all the other um, cholesterol like LDL, BLDL, this all will be precipitated except SDL will remain there. After uh, mixing it and keep it for five minutes, incubating it for five minutes at room temperature at the 37 degrees Celsius, we will use this test tube for centrifuging, okay? 3000, 3000 RPM revolution per minute. For 10 minutes, it will be uh, undergoing a centrifugation okay once centrifugation takes place all the precipitate will be settled down and we will be using the supernatant part which contain only the HDL part that will be act as a sample and proceed the test and we use the instrument and follow the step by test number 21 will be pressing and then a blank standard sample it will be the same thing see this is how we prepare the sample for the estimation of the HDL, okay? This, this will be the supernatant after centrifugation will be the, will be act as the samples, okay? Mm. Now, after getting these samples, we'll take only the supernatant, 100 microliter, mm. and as well as we will be using standard HDL cholesterol, uh, here also 100 microliter, and put in the corresponding test tube and in the blank we'll be using 100 microliter of distilled water and perform the test and use the instrument to read the value just like in case of the total cholesterol and we will get the result and this is the end of the test